Hey guys, Andrew Shrout, I'm here on the sideboard. I'm sitting with Mike Segris and Chris Pakula, and we are here to pick their brains and ask a couple more quick questions. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first question, and we'll start with you, Mike. Uh, what deck are you playing this weekend, and why did you choose to play it? Uh, I played Miracles because I had the most experience with it in any other Legacy deck, so I felt it was reasonably positioned. Okay, reasonable. Chris, what about you? I played Grixis Delver because uh, I had the most experience playing Delver decks, and I thought that Deathrite Shaman was the best one drop available. Okay. Uh, the best one drop that worked with Treasure Cruise. Sure. All right, uh, the next question. Chris, how have you adjusted for a Treasure Cruise metagame? Uh, well, I played Deathrite Shamans because I knew I couldn't play Nimble Mongoose, and I knew Deathrite Shamans could mess up their Treasure Cruise. Mm -hmm. um, that was probably the biggest change I made to the Delver strategy. Gotcha. I just played more Power Blast than I normally would, probably. Okay, how many did you play? I played two main deck and two in the board. All right. And I also did play four Treasure Cruise, just to be clear. Yeah, I made okay. that adjustment. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this was not, not the biggest Grand Prix, but one of the biggest. We, we did end up clearing 4,000, uh, all told. So how does a 4,000-player GP change the way you prepare for a tournament, Mike? Um, especially in Legacy, I don't think you can define the metagame, which is okay. a lot of uh, mistake people are making. They expected a lot of Blue-Red Delver, which is clearly going to be popular, but there's so many different decks and so many different people and so many different kinds of Magic players that you can't really define the metagame beforehand. So you want to have a deck that's pretty well-rounded. All right. All right. I definitely considered switching decks to something that was more versatile, like a blue-white-red deck that had like spells like just Counterspell in it that could deal with anything. Mm -hmm. um, the big change I made for Delver is I, I thought Tarmogoyf was a better card than Young Pyromancer, mm -hmm. but I sort of refused to play a deck that was really bad against Blood Moon because I thought that there would just be a lot of Blood Moons in the first five rounds. Okay, sure. um, if I had three buys, I might, I might have played Tarmogoyf. Okay. Uh, the next question, th this is kind of interesting for you, Chris, because you, it sounds like you actually considered several different Delver decks. Uh, what do you think is the best Delver deck in Legacy right now? I'm, I'm really not sure. I mean, if I was, I was really weighing a lot of choices like coming into the tournament. So I'm going to say that I, I'm really not sure yet. Um, okay. I think that the Stoneforge builds are better than they've ever been, weirdly. Like, I've never really liked those in the past. Mm -hmm. um, but the games just go longer now, and having more powerful spells is better. It's just, it's, there's just there's fewer stifles and fewer wastelands, so there's less like games over on turn three. There's fewer Tarmogoyfs. Okay. Um, a lot of people are just trading cards. Like, Delvers die more, die more easily because people have main deck power blasts. There's a lot more decks that have Swords of Postures and Lightning Bolts. So I think having more powerful cards is better, but I, I'm honestly not sure. Mm -hmm. So whatever build you go with, you want to have like a more mid-rangey plan, something you can do if a game goes long because it's more likely to. I mean, that's why I didn't like the blue red deck as much. I gotcha. Um, but I mean, people were cutting dazes from the blue red deck with the same thing in mind. Right. Um, but there's plenty of games I would have lost yesterday that I would that if I didn't have days in my deck. So it's it's really tough. I don't think there's a clear answer. Okay, Mike, what do you think? Yeah, I kind of agree with them. Uh, I would lean blue red just because it's you know pretty straightforward and easy to play and stuff like that, and it's you know pretty well rounded against everything. But I think. In the current metagame, Blue White Red Delver is probably a better choice okay. because it's better against that deck specifically. All right. So the story of this Grand Prix has, has been about the Delver decks, about treasure cruising and all that. Uh, kind of to get away from the islands a little bit, what do you think, Mike, is the best non-blue legacy deck? Um, I guess I'll say Death and Taxes. All right. Uh, don't really have a reason for it. I think it's you know a reasonable deck and it doesn't have I don't want to play decks without brainstorm in them I wouldn't do it but okay. so it sounds like the actual answer is yeah. there isn't one yeah there is play blue one, but, but yeah okay fair enough Chris what do you think I think elves I think I like elves better than death and taxes um, right. I think death and taxes has more long games um, where it's really I think in the long run it's gonna death and taxes is not gonna be able to beat a deck that has like four fork bolt and two electricery or something after sideboarding sure. which some of these blue Very red true. decks do have mm -hmm. where elves is much more capable of ending the game before they draw those cards. Okay. Death and Taxes is about inevitability, but a lot of that is dependent on, you know, not your, you know, not getting two for one and then your right. equipment living. I think that most people don't run Delver strategies where they can't kill the equipment after sideboarding anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people sure still do. So I think I like Elves a little better. Okay. Uh, let's put on our, our development caps a little bit for this next question. Uh, Chris, if you could ban or unban any one card in Legacy, what would it be? Uh, I think I would ban Brainstorm. Okay. I think that, right. obviously, people love Brainstorm. It's really skill testing. Yeah. Um, well, I've been bra Brainstorm or Treasure Cruise. I don't think it makes sense to have both. All right, I personally like Brainstorm better, but I, I, I think changing up a format that's been this stable for this long is interesting. Yeah. I, it's a, my only 
caveat is I think Brainstorm is much more skill testing than Treasure Cruise. Sure. Um, but we've been doing it for so long and having both just seems really silly to me. Sure. So I feel like give one of them the X. I think Legacy would definitely have a bit of an identity crisis if you took away the Brainstorm. I agree, but we'll get over it. Sure. It's, it's resilient. They can handle like, it. I know some people would say like Wasteland, but I think Wasteland lead, I think Wasteland it leads to some terrible games, but it also leads to interesting deck decisions. And okay. I, I think there's a lot more skill involved in using Wastelands than people. Because most people don't just keep on land and get blown up by Wasteland. That's sure. not really how it yeah. happens. But I don't know. I'm going to say Ban Brainstorm. Why not? All right. I, I can get behind it. Mike, ban or unban one card. What do you think? I want to unban Mystical Tutor because I like degenerate combo decks. Okay. <laughs> so I just want to yeah be able to do more degenerate things. Fair enough. Mystical Tutor <laughs> can, will certainly let you do yes. some degenerate things. All right. Uh, and then the last question. Uh, I mentioned that this has this has very much been like a Treasure Cruise GP, uh, but Treasure Cruise is not the only Delve spell that has been making some noise. Uh, so the question is simply, Treasure Cruise or Dig Through Time? After playing with Dig Through Time and not Treasure Cruise, I will pick Treasure Cruise. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. So Dig Through Time I, didn't work as advertised for you? No, it, I mean it did, but it, they're very different cards in that Dig Through Time's for, you know, heavier blue decks that want to uh, play more expensive spells or like combo pieces, and Treasure Cruise is just like the Delver, you know, pound you with card advantage and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So, low land count decks. Chris, what do you think? I think Treasure Cruise. I think it's possible that in modern Dig Through Time kind of being better because yeah. in modern there's a lot more attrition, 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 and then I get two cards that literally these two cards together win the game kind sure. of thing. Okay. The combo decks in Legacy are not well equipped to play Treasure Cruise and Dig Through Time, so I think that effect is not as true. So I think I think uh, because you can play the low land counts in, in Legacy, yeah. I think that uh, Treasure Cruise is better. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, and then we're going to wrap things up with the lightning round. We're going to do a little okay. bit of word association. So I'm going to say a word. It's going to be a legacy-related word. And I need you guys to just snap it off and say the first thing that comes to your mind as soon as I say the word. All right. So first off, legacy. Um, Interesting. <laughs> Delver of Secrets. All right. <laughs> Dredge. Uh, annoying. Bizarre Baghead. <laughs> this is legacy. Right? I know. <laughs> you asked me the first thing I thought of. The first thing I thought of. Fetch. Uh, I like it. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> right. uh, isn't that Mean Girls? Is that Fetch? That, yeah, that's yeah. the first thing I thought of. Mean yeah. Girls? Mean sure. Girls. Yeah. So, uh, someone earlier oh. said, said Happen. <laughs> yeah. So I think that works. Happen, okay. All right. Terminus. Uh, great. All right. Uh, Terminus? <laughs> Sensei <laughs> Divining Top. All right. Trophy. Um... Go, you go first. Don't have one. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. All right. One more. More. One more. Okay. All right. Jersey. I'm terrible at this. Uh, smelly? T time's up. <laughs> wow. Patrick Sullivan. All right. Fair enough. Matt okay. Rubin? Brainstorm. <laughs> um, powerful. Yeah. Delver of Secrets. All right. <laughs> okay. He's naming guards. I'm just naming. Sure. <laughs> Chris Bakula. Medley Mage. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, meddling uh, mage, yeah. All right, fair enough, meddling mage. Good all guy. Right. All right, that, that'll do it for us. Mike, Chris, thanks for sitting down with yeah. me. Yeah. Stick around. We've got plenty more coverage coming of Grand Prix, New Jersey.